Hi everyone. I will be giving a response to this popular YouTube video about the weight loss benefits of apple cider vinegar. Let's see what it has to say. This is, looks like it's Dr. Oz. I've received countless success stories from viewers about how it kickstarted healthy transformations from all over the country. So Jeanette says that after taking apple cider vinegar, she felt less bloated. This is a before and after on her. Then Michelle says she saw a major improvement in her energy throughout the day. And Tamara says she dropped more than a dress size by adding vinegar to her everyday routine. They've all shared with us their information, how they used the apple cider vinegar, when they drank it, what they ate it with, all the details. And I've got diet expert Jen Wiederstrom who's going to help us look through all the data and share with the ultimate vinegar prescription that you can try to. Hi, baby. How are you? I can't come to New York and not do your show. But I'm very happy you're here. And there's so much to talk about because this oh. apple cider vinegar has become, first of all, so easy to do. People want to do it. Yeah. It's affordable. But most importantly, it seems to work for a lot of folks. So why do you think it's so powerful? <laughs> to me, I always describe it as like the Ringo star of the Beatles. Like he's been here the whole time. But he's always been in the background. And that's apple cider vinegar. I mean, my grandparents, grandparents told them about it. They told me about it. And I think it's one of those best kept secrets because it's effective. It's powerful. It's natural. And as you said, it's really affordable as well. There are lots of opinions, tons of opinions about apple cider vinegar. And everyone's been taking it, but I want to get those opinions into one place. So first off, you've crowdsourced some data. Yeah. So from your research, how much apple cider vinegar should the average person be taking? I think ultimately what you want to start with is three teaspoons a day. And I like that spaced out, and you can kind of see how you're reacting, what your body's talking and saying to you, and then go from there. All right, so give us a quick glance of what it might yeah. look like. A typical day Yeah. looks like this, the, the, the prescription plan with vinegar. Exactly, because we got a doctor, we're going to prescribe you guys. So here we go. We got a teaspoon just before breakfast, a teaspoon of the apple cider vinegar just before lunch, and we have that mystery vinegar just before your dinner. All right, so we, we, we do the crowdsourcing. It yes. turns out breakfast is the most popular time to take the apple cider vinegar. It's to do it in the morning. Mm -hmm. That's the first part of our plan. We're going to say that the teaspoon of apple cider vinegar ought to be taken before your breakfast. Yeah. You actually agree with like, what people are doing. Like, it makes sense to take it early. I, I love it because basically it, it's, it's the perfect warm-up for your workout and your body, right? All right, let's see how our viewers do it. Just okay. coming over here. We made it part of that daily routine. Joining us is Jamie. This is her before picture. And here she is after. Oh, I like it. There's some, but it's not like major. Let me see anything else. You did to jumpstart it, so. Oh, it's telling you all right. <laughs> ah. And the lemon really gives it a nice Whoa. little thing. Of what I need in you, which is the protein and, and, and the and the fiber, and then you also get a little of what you want too. So you have the apple cider get vinegar first and then do that? Yeah, I want this almost like 30 minutes before your breakfast, you guys. Some grapefruit and a couple leaves in there, and you're good to go. What I said adding apple cider vinegar to your routine, and they found a new vinegar that could be a power ingredient. Seltzer, throw it on the rocks, put a martini glass like Mr. Fancy Pants here. But either way, you're set, you're good, you're taking care of your body and your immunity, and it tastes pretty good. I like it. And the pairing is with? Oh, yeah, there are no mistakes here. So I paired it with uh, slow cooker uh, chicken fajitas. At the end of the day, we're talking about how there's no time left. Let the. Okay, so there, there are research, even Dr. Michael Greger in his book, How Not to Diet, said apple cider vinegar really works. Uh, but. Whenever you say any food and any drink, they do work, but it should not be the main thing. The main thing is the overall, you got to eat healthier food, the main food, not just some kind of a, a, a supplement type. So, but in, even I myself, I'm more motivated. I have apple cider in my vine in my refrigerator. So I'm going to use it more often. But I'm going to do it just twice because I only eat two meals, not three times as recommended here. And uh, you got to also be careful. I read something that if you go directly without mixing it, it could decay your teeth it, because it eats away the enamel in your teeth. So you got to be careful. Okay. With that, please subscribe. It will help me a lot. And like and leave a comment. And we'll see you in the next video.